Greetings everyone, BJ Waller back with you for another day of 100 Days of Gaming. This is, is, will be, was, or we might want to phrase is it day 56 of 100 Days of Gaming. Uh, doing it a little bit early because uh, actually on uh, the Wednesday, day 56, upon which this will be uploaded to YouTube, I uh, most likely will not be able to do a live stream that day. So, as always, as I do with 100 Days of Gaming, if I if there's a day where I actually can't stream, uh, well, I'm going through um, any of my myriad various games, mostly either Guild Wars or Stronghold Kingdoms, as we have here. Um, I will do a video ahead of time. Um, that way I have it ready to upload for that particular day. So I get the game time in, I just don't get the stream in, but we do get a video anyway for that day to pretty much showcase what we're pretty much doing every day anyway. But where are we at here? We are on Island Warfare. This is Stronghold Kingdoms, uh, one of my usual staples of daily gaming here, like I said, along with Guild Wars. Um, the Island Warfare world, and it is currently day 229 as we're doing this. Got a couple of scouts out. Let's check out what our free card is. Reveal a small armor hall. Adds a small quantity of armor to your armory. So it gives me four armor to the armory. Good. So we've got the rat here. The pig is no longer with us. But the main reason I'm popping in here first is because we have thusly ranked up to Squire 7th class. Um, which provides for us... I go military here um, with the proper research which we have already done ahead of time here uh, the ability to own uh, three villages at once here so we've already got that research in and done so what we want to do here is head into uh, Belosar we want to recruit ourselves let's go over here recruit ourselves a nuts um, hmm so what we're going to have to do is this. We are going to have to disband one archer. Oop. And that. Uh, no peasants available. Well, that's not good. We are going to have to do this then. Uh, let's do... You know what? Let's do this. Turn this off. Turn this off. Do I have already swords? I have no swords. As do I have armor? Uh, iron? I've got iron, so why is he not making swords? That is a bug still that is highly annoying, but whatever. So we will do... Uh, first we will do our captain. Bank. There you go here. Might as well recruit our monk. And yeah, let's turn this on. Is he making a sword now? Looks like he's finally making swords. Okay, good. Even though we planted that a couple days ago, apparently he decided to do absolutely nothing. And guess what? There is that tune that YouTube doesn't like, naturally. As soon as I start recording. Alright, there we go. So Okay, so we've got that set. Uh, let me go back and check here. Okay, so we're maxed out on everything else, so that's fine for the moment. So I guess I better check by lane while I'm here. Oh, we got seven swords being made. Okay, so we've got seven swords. So he's working here. Good. Excellent. That's all we need. So what we're going to do now is go here. And in 47, just over 47 and a half minutes, we will have ourselves. Oh, we're going to be less than 100,000. That's not good, but that's okay. We can get that back. We'll have ourselves a new village. The question is, what am I going to... Oh, you know what I'm going to purchase? I'm going to make it... A so we have now you know what hold on a second what is this this is our highland um let's get over here real quick our highland provides pitch and iron okay so we're going to go here let's do this again so we have our lowland, we have our valley side, which provides wine, but we haven't done any research yet into uh, honor goods, so that doesn't help. Salt flat provides salt, which doesn't help. River one and river two, which I'm thinking about, one of these two, which provides these goods, but more importantly, it provides fish, 
as a sixth food type throwing washcloth at me. Are you youngin? All right. Uh, marsh provides pitch, but no iron. Neither of these provide pitch or iron. Plains, no pitch or iron. Highlands, which we have, provides pitch as well as iron. The mountain peak um, provides iron, but no pitch. So if I wanted pitch and iron, my best bet would be to do another highland. See, by going river, um, I would have to now supply a third village with pitch and iron. I only have one village that does pitch. So Mountain Peak is no pitch, but it has iron. Iron is plentiful in the marshland. No iron. Where are you? But it has pitch. And iron, iron, iron. So it's really a mountain peak or a river for the fishing. See, that's the question. Do I want iron or do I want fish? The question is, at the end of the day, what do I want more? Fish, iron, and or pitch? Because at this point, the honor goods are inconsequential. But as long as I can trade fish to my other two villages, that helps bump up popularity with that food source. But that means I have to be actively trading a lot. Which means, of course, I will have to trade pitch and iron to my fishing village as well. I'm almost tempted to do Mountain Peak here because so far we're surviving good without all the necessary food types. Um, it gives us iron. So I think we would have to supply is pitch. Alright, you know what, let's see, how's our iron supply overall here? It's not maxed out. It's not maxed out. What's our iron production in here? 785 per day. 862, so we're getting about 1500, 1600 per day between the two villages. I'm right, going to Lapu Lapu. I do have this, which is helping. So we've got one more level to go. And then we'll have max efficiency. So that's only for the remainder of the first age, which, uh, you know, kind of lasts a while. That's what we got here. Okay. Okay. All right. So. Weather is not treating us good here. Showers. So if we had one more food type, that would help with donations too, because they have one more food type to consume. Or down, down, um, lessens the amount consumed of the other. So, and get to the end of the day, I, I'm going to go with my initial, my initial gut feeling, and do a fishing village, and that would be River One. And there goes our captain. All right. So while he's off in the way, let's pop on over to Global Conflict. All right, quick here. Yeah? Get that out of the way. Because even though we are the same in Global Conflict, we're not quite going to conquer a village there yet. We've not decided how we're going to go about handling that, whether we're going to cap so, or where we're going to go or anything to that effect. So Traveler's Way is here with us next to uh, in Boston and we'll uh, get to that anyway. So here's a bumpkin. I must be better capping 
travelers to the village are. I'm letting her spawn. But we'll see. In the meantime, uh, quite a few things to re review here. Of course, we had Kaz Tech uh, attack our castle, which we uh, showed the enemy arrived, the enemy arrived. Zach Sparrow, whom we attacked a couple of times. And then we had, oh, Raptor Eyes. Thank you, by the way, Raptor Eyes is now a Liege Lord of Ornath. So good, that takes care of that. Uh, we have our parish attacking Buludar, which is Kaz Tech's parish. Since Kaztec was uh, being quite the griefer up in Iceland, raising a lot of uh, villages around there, Traveler's Way being one of them. Gold raid. So, and I haven't seen too much activity from him um, since he actually destroyed Traveler's Way here. So, I don't know if he it cost him so much honor that he couldn't do much attacking, but I haven't seen too much activity from him. Or, you know, he could just be doing whatever he's doing when I'm actually not on Global Conflict 1 here, which is in day 348, by the way. Day 348 for Global Conflict 1. So here we go, so uh, he actually attacked Traveler, Hoffel, Traveler's Ways Parish here to raid some gold. So thank you for singing that my way, Traveler. I hear you singing back there. Enemies vanquished. Johnny J tried Scout No Syria. He failed. Excellent. Johnny J. Way over here in Iceland. Who uh, apparently is gone now. So he might he might have gotten raised out by Cosmic at that point. Man. So let's... Uh, is this Johnny J? Let's take a look for Johnny J here. See where he might be at. So he, oh, he's back in Iceland. Ah, so he's there in board games now. So Kaztec's still up here harassing. He hasn't attempted anything against me since he failed in his attempt to raise Osiria almost uh, two weeks ago. Okay, member of one. Okay, so let's get back into here. Parish doing a lot of attacks here. Parish doing many, many attacks here. Yeah. As a matter of fact, let me do this too before I forget so I can get my notes ready for when we actually upload this. Island Warfare. Global Conflict. Okay, so here we are, um, anyway, as well. 
now that uh, you know island warfare and global conflict um, I am caught up uh, rank wise we're going to keep mirroring so we're squire seventh class here we researched leadership so we can have three villages as well uh, I got two points left so as a matter of fact let me get some research in on here That taken care of. So, uh, let me. Where is my. I need to open this up and uh, get my research here. Uh, so, basically, baptism now. So, we basically want to start bumping up baptism. So, we can start doing some heals here. So, of course, we've got seven more points to go before that's maxed out and we actually do start some heals and uh, that bit of research is actually caught up to where we're at in uh, Island Warfare. Island War Warfare I actually have to bump up um, logistics which is the captain speed but that'll be for another time so we'll save that we'll leave that open for when I uh, pop back to Island Warfare Anyway, that's that. Nothing much else going on, at least for uh, us here. Us few here in Blacklist. Us four. Otherwise, quiet. Uh, state of the world. House 19 has won uh, the next glory round. Uh, in fact, it looks like today they won that glory round finally. So that was quite some time. Uh, was a good month or so, I think I forget. Well, we can always go back and look at the other videos, say, but now we are down to four houses, one glory round apiece. So we are nearing the end here. So how am I for my loyalty reward here? So this is loyal member gold, spent 26 weeks in the same faction. Um, that's the current, my current progress is 31. The next level to get to diamond is spend 52 weeks in the same faction. So I am still 21 21 weeks away from being able to obtain that but I think with as slow as the glory rounds are going I just might be able just might be able to eke that out but we'll see we shall see in the meantime as you can see house 10 still in control here house 19 still in pretty much control of uh, most of the rest of the world here Zoom in a bit, we can see some additional territories. Our former house, House 7 there. So we can get another member in the faction. We cannot rejoin a house. But again, as we zoom in here, you see a little bit more. Uh, Africa is still really a hodgepodge mess. Um, house 19 pretty much in firm control of everything else. No, we don't want to go that way, thank you. We'll just zip back here to our happy little house in New Haven. Oh, look, fishies. Let's go get some fishies for a bit. In the meantime, let's take a look at uh, all these parish attacks that we want to take a look at. So we'll just start down here at the bottom. Attacks a bounded cap. Ooh. While I eat some lunch, we can just review some battles. Nice, oh, simple and easy, eh?
Thank you. 
All right, good, 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 good. So let's see. Most of these wolf layers here. Just large size ones. Let's see what he's got here. Small one. What else we got here? Small fry. Bandy camp, bandy camp, bandy camp. Snake, wolf layer. So fairly sizable ones. But pretty much standard fare, really. So we do need to get back to Island Warfare for the meat and bones of what we're going to be doing today. This is just all the action-packed fluff. Another wolf layer, 58 seconds ago. So New Haven sending out plenty of attacks, huh? So again, let's see, 266, 266. Standard stuff, 266. Flare 266, so all pretty much the same type of wolf flare. 362, we'll take a look at that one. Seems to be the largest of the ones that are left. Ooh, that's a nasty boy. Using pikemen left and right here. Yeah, pikemen are just about done. Well, this is going to kill all the pikemen now. And there go the archers. Ashes are getting eaten up like crazy here. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. Let's see where all these New Haven armies are at here. I can't even see where they're at. That's it, really. these guys, and he's already come back, which could be the case, yeah. Could be the case. So, who is Steward, by the way? Franco36. Trey, no longer here. I have no allies left. I don't, you know what, Apollo Starfire, is he even still on the server? Let's see, my original... Nope. That is definitely not Apollo Starfire, so he's not even playing on the server anymore. Such is the way of Stronghold Kingdoms. Alright, so let's get back here and see where we are at here. So, Bandicamp, Bandicamp, Bandicamp. Uh, relatively what we've seen before, obviously. Here, oh, that looks like a rather larger one. Oh, yeah, so let's take a look at this guy. That's interesting. So, a design, a layout that I uh, had the opportunity to witness very often, if at all.
Ooh, that's another large one there, so we'll take a look at that guy. Lost a few catapults, huh? Not a whole heck of a lot of honor for that though, so bandit camps can be quite the trade-off. So a small fry. There we go. Medium size, nothing too unusual about that fella. Pretty much a nice easy walk in there. Let's see what the parish yeah did with the snake for Fludier. Attacked and defeated Monsieur Snake. Good. Let's see, let's see. Attack the rat here again. New deer. <laughs> I think New Haven sent the, the other rat attack out that we reviewed a couple minutes ago. that and a couple more snakes attacks uh, snakes castle attacks there yes not too bad there it's New Haven attacking this time attacking from two fronts that's interesting This is similar to the one I have in, uh, I think, my Agua Fria Parish on USA 2. So he attacks from those two sides instead of these sides here, so that's interesting. See how that turns out there. Obviously, one. Eat up, eat up, let's go. Definitely quite a few losses catapult-wise, so 
Either way, it's going to be an expensive battle to take this snake out there in Agua Fria. Through the back, they haven't gotten through the front yet. Now they've decided just to hack away at the walls. That's just fantastic of the AI, isn't it? Just fantastic. So I lost over half the catapults, 30 odd pikemen, um, about 60 archers or so. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright, so that takes care of that. So what do we have to see here? So Vanquish three and five days ago, that means Siege Camp will be returning. Any day now, probably. So let's take a look at Fludir attacking the Paladin's Castle, which I believe was in Fludir itself. The attacker wins. So this is about the worst Paladin Castle that I generally see this layout. I've seen it before, so I haven't seen too many. I don't recall seeing any that are worse as in defense, you know, worse as in you know, big, large, uh, defense-wise. Obviously, I have seen ones that are smaller than this. But generally speaking, the Paladin's Castles aren't that big of a deal. Not that much of an issue. It is very rare spawns. That's the problem. All right, and we'll finish this off with uh, Kaztec 81 here. Raising out Traveler's Way in Iceland. So this was his initial assault. Here, so let's take a look at that. So this, of course, was the breaker assault. Try to get a report and get in break through the keep. So that's basically all it was.
You keep eating. In fact, when so they did end up reaching the keep. But again, it's just a simple assault. Um, no other effect. But here, with the captain in hand, is the raise. So pretty much a simple walk-in. And that will be that and uh, travel his way now with us in the Northeast in the United States on Global Warfare. So that gets us pretty much caught up with what's going on here. We haven't said anything against Zack Sparrow because at this point it's pretty meaningless. Um, since he can no longer harass Traveler's Way over here in Hoffel or attempt to take um, TW's castle or anything like that. And no point in waste in the expending effort against him. Uh, better just to keep defended, keep myself defended here against any possible future attacks. Why I plan out what I'm going to be doing here with another village and fun stuff such as that. So I think because disease there, and we've got like terrible weather right now. The only reason we're that high there is because of blessings. Six hours of storms. Um, I might just raise Traveler's Way out of Boston and uh, we'll see where TW responds. Uh oh. Frozen up there. See where else in the Northeast where TW can spawn. If we can get TW to spawn here in New Haven, that would be. Awesome. So we'll see. We'll have to uh, we'll have to get our heads together to see how we're going to work that out next up. So I certainly don't want to capture that village and head into Boston with all that disease, and not really have m all my monk stuff m maxed out yet in order to, to really deal with it. So. Uh, we will have to wait. So things in New Haven under the control of Franco seem to be going rather well. So as a matter of fact, let me vote for Mr. Franco himself. There we go. We're all good. They don't have any problems with Franco. So Uriel, he used to be in House 10, I thought. Hmm. Could be wrong about that, but there we go. That's Island Warfare. So let's get back into the nitty gritty here. We got a lot to do here in uh, Island Warfare. So we'll pop back into there. Select World Island Warfare 1. Again, day 229 here. Our captain just about on his way, only 10 minutes away here. Uh, so we have now the rat attacking Spectre moved in. We've got Dresu who joined the parish not too long ago. As you can see, a lot of wolf flares. Oh, there's. Oh, that, that's not right. Hang on a minute. Cause Frank is not here that I know of. Yeah, see, I can't click on him. I can click on me. So that's just a... Oh, oh. High point. Okay, yes, I know there's no disc in the drive. Can't cancel. Thank you. Good old OBS. Seems to want to act up whenever I have a uh, disc drive, or a disc in the uh, Blu-ray drive there. The game disc, essentially. Okay, so that's that. Uh, let's see, do we need to vote? Nope, so we're good on voting. So what we want to do here is donate a wee bit more. 
Send. Meet, 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 meet. I guess I should double check. I'm pretty sure I don't have a donation quest. Deer hunter, resourceful, delaying blessing, construction crazy. Now that's definitely one fact. Let me activate that now. Bam, 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 bam. There we go. So we will definitely be doing that in our new village. Uh, once we get our new villager. So let's... There's much going on here, word-wise. Uh, right. Yes, indeed. In fact, let's take a look at that stuff, too. So again, House 17, Infirm Control. Um... I think the world is relatively quiet. I've not heard about any major wars going on. Now that we, are, of course, are a neutral faction in a neutral house, we haven't had too much trouble. Of course, Raptor Eyes is here with me on this world, so I can always hit him up for the uh, for the nitty gritty here. Luxurious Auto is still hanging around. Recepa Sendril still here. Pedro. Pedro has gone now. Pedro is no longer on this world, unfortunately. So that's uh, why we actually have a free village slot again in uh, the Pu Le Pu here. Um, Bolt and Sir no longer here. Dylan no longer here. Peter's still here, who is with House 11 now. Dr. Sipa, I forgot why he was an ally. West Serengani, so he's not, I forget. I think he might be a YouTube follower, could be. Dr. Sipa. You're at your way down there, okay. Get me up again. Uh, with a message if you're still around and watching the videos. Uh, Central, of course, our ally from several worlds in House 17. Awesome source. Here, Central has a male avatar. Elsewhere, I believe he slash she has a female avatar. So back and forth. And Raptor Eyes, also House 17. So I've got a couple of House 17 allies I could always hit up for information. About in case there might be any wars or fighting going on. Oh my god. Listen to this song. Oh my god. I can't listen to this song. Because YouTube all does the freak out. Freak out of the YouTubes. Freak out. With the monk chant. The monk chant. The monk chant. Alright, so while we're waiting here, let me explain a little bit about what's going on. I haven't really said much, and in fact, I don't even have my information here. So let's do that. Steam Pro Overlay, there we go. Okay, so we've got our information. Now I have to take this stuff away, uh, or hide this stuff when I do the official Extra Life stream, because we don't want... To promote the individual, we want to promote Extra Life. So that's why I uh, take that stuff away for the Extra Life stream, official Extra Life stream. Of course, I got to remember to bring it back when I do my own channel streams. But there we go. Okay. Extra Life participant. Da, 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 da. I did put up a blog this week, um, this past Monday, which is today if you're watching this live um, or catch the past broadcast or the highlight. Uh, well, I might not do the highlight till Wednesday, just keeping orders. I am going to live stream tomorrow, and I don't want to get the live streams out of order, but eh, I guess it doesn't matter. Anyway, regardless, on Monday, September 19th, I put up a new blog that talks about 100 Days of Gaming and my initiative $1 at a time. So go check that out. If you go to www.realmillenniumgroup, realmillenniumgroup.com, on the uh, on the homepage there of realmillenniumgroup.com, you should uh, see somewhere. In fact, you know what? Why not? Why shouldn't I? Oh, there we go. Because there's my Twitch. There's my Twitch. Because I was exporting pirates, 
Pirates of the Burning Sea for day 54, but here we go. Uh, where is, where is, welcome to the Real Millennium Group. So here we go, right here on the main page here, Hanging in the Outhouse. That's the blog, so I am, uh, you know, I've got to make an adjustment there. That's a little off. But anyway, uh, Hanging in the Outhouse, that's our blog. I just got a blog up there uh, for this week, uh, talking about Extra Life. Like I said, uh, 100 Days of Gaming and my initiative uh, one dollar at a time so just go to real millennium group.com which of course you can't see up there because it's a little bit off the screen but let's go to real millennium group.com just click there hanging in the outhouse and that will take you to my blog and of course we have my real millennium group gaming page here which uh, you know has some you know fun stuff about my gaming ventures and all that kind of good stuff well, I've got to update these too of course you can't see these until I do that but hey 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 yes from 4th of July, so I've got to update the website a little bit here, but anyway, on with it. So that's what it is. Extra Life is a way for us gamers to give back to our communities by playing games and trying to raise money for Extra Life. Again, uh, I am now only $14 away from my uh, initial goal here, so please, 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 please come visit my participant page and consider making a donation even $1 at a time. That's my initiative. If one person can find this video entertaining enough to want to donate a dollar, that's all I'm asking for. Just $1 from one person for one video at a time for, you know, all 100 videos for 100 Days of Gaming. I raise $100 for the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. And it helps my team out, of course. I am on Team Judgment Gaming. So when you go to sign up for Extra Life, such as I did, you can um, either create your own team if you got friends you're bringing along with you as participants and you all want to play together on a team and fundraise as a team, you can do so. Or you can go ahead and join a team. Like I said, I am a member of Judgment Gaming, Battery H, which you'll see from time to time in our chats here. Uh, in in uh, both here, uh, my real Millennium Group Twitch shell and the official Extra Life Twitch shell. He is my team captain. So, uh, you know, we met while playing Star Wars The Old Republic through our guild in Star Wars The Old Republic, hence Judgment Gaming. Um, Judgment Gaming is a large multi-gaming guild that, that our small initial guild um, decided to join uh, when we started losing members and, and shrinking and stuff like that. That way we can keep bolstered, have lots of other people to play with other games and all that sort of stuff. So that's why I'm a member of Judgment Gaming. This is my second year as a member with them. Previously, my first two, this is my fourth year of Extra Life. The first two years I did, I was a member of Team Tryon. So yes, when you sign up to play, to, to join Extra Life and become a participant, you can join a developer team. I, I played with Team Tryon, so I got a whole lot of bling from being on their team and raising money as they as the team itself met its fun raising goals. And I got to play with the devs and community managers, so that was great fun. Awesome fun there. But uh, yeah, so you can join a team or you can just play solo. A lot of people just like playing solo and raising money themselves. So that's all we ask for. Just, you know, play games. Um, you don't even have to do a 24-hour straight marathon, as you see there, which is November 5th and November 6th this year, which technically makes it a 25-hour marathon. If you technically go from 8 a.m. Saturday to 8 a.m. Sunday, you're actually playing for 25 hours this year due to falling back of a daylight saving time ending. But I start my marathon November 4th, probably around 7 or 8, I'm thinking. Uh, that gives me Sunday actually to rest and actually go watch my booze. Uh, track meet because uh, she should be running that day as well I think I think we're getting close to the championships by the time November rolls around so fingers crossed she can make the championships this year she uh, did very well for her first meet uh, this past Sunday so awesome sauce for that awesome sauce for track meets anyway that's it you know 14 dollars i get to wear i get to uh to procure the awesome platinum participant level Extra Life t-shirt for 2016 because I want to get that as soon as possible just so I can wear it for the marathon. If I can get my 200 um, within the next few weeks, I will actually have the t-shirt in time. And this will be the first time I can actually wear that year's t-shirt for the marathon um, for the last three marathon. Well, the first marathon, of course, I didn't have a t-shirt yet, so I just wore a regular, regular little t-shirt. But uh, for the last two years, I actually wore the previous year's t-shirt because I didn't get my t-shirt till after the marathon when I finally hit my $200 mark because the fundraising doesn't end in November at the marathon. The fundraising goes all year round. So just $1 at a time. Again, that's all I'm asking for. 
it's easy enough and 100 percent of everything go donated goes to the kids goes to my hospital if you're donating through me through my sponsorship if you're helping to support me 100 percent of what you donate goes to the children's hospital of philadelphia so it's much appreciated by me even more appreciated by the hospitals and the kids um, that are being treated by these hospitals for various ailments and um and for which the funding is vitally vitally necessary so in the meantime that's the talk there let's do this boop 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 we actually have quite a few reports to uh review here so enemy troops advancing in large numbers 12 hours ago uh you know what i do have to repair for that don't i so let's repair We'll do that. Do, 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 do. So one more attack left from this siege camp and it shall be gone. So let's repair this here as well. Make sure we're all repaired up for this final attack. If diplomacy doesn't kick in, we won't have too much more repairing to do at least. Confirm that. So what we want to do now is uh, advanced options restore the troops which restore our oil pots here thank you thank you thank you so we got our defenses back up and we should have village charter purchased excellent excellent we have our village charter so that's how many attacks one uh, two three yeah, actually I think that's the same attack there so there's one two three four five so possibly six six or seven attacks depending if they're the same or different they might be different so more likely seven attacks from the siege camp it's been around since when has it been around about four days ago so that's that's actually a lot of attacks in four days so wolf lair we've seen some wolf lairs with global conflict so we don't need to see the teeny tiny relatively speaking wolf lairs that we attack here uh, so let me get rid of these since we know the last attack is finally launching to clear out some reports here. Okay, so we've got bandit camps. We'll take a look at a couple of those. And of course, the snake attacks. Then the snake was destroyed. Then the pig arrived. I uh, was here for about five days and the pig was destroyed. Then the rat arrived as a replacement. So we'll take a look at all that fun stuff. Um, but first, we have a village here to build. So, new village. First things first, we have to name our new village. So, let me bring up my Stronghold Kingdoms file. Let me look for village names. That's what I'm looking for. So, on Island Warfare, we are doing the bees we are bees here because we have Balasar and by lane and this next one is a river one village and this will be barthios i will save so we will name you barthios so we are in new village settings let's do that settings rename current village original name new village new name let's go barthios Okay, Barthios it is. We got Barthios, Bailene, Belisar. There's Barthios's number, thank you. So does that yet affect, I think that just affects the current vote cap, but it doesn't give me votes until tomorrow. So now I will get three votes per village per day, so that's nine votes I will get per day. Excellent. Of course, he is not high enough rank to vote, so you will not see him in the list. Because uh, only once can you, once you reach a level high enough to become steward, can you also vote for steward. If I, I think that's how it works, if I recall correctly. But be that as it may, we're at where. Oh, you know what we were doing? We were donating. Let's finish donating here, shall we? Real quick. Of course, this will give me another village from which to donate, so that will that will help immensely with getting these donations in because 
Every, everybody's donated so far. So, uh, well, all three of us at this point. There's only three of us in here besides this new guy here. But Spectre has donated. So thank you, Spectre. And, of course, uh, Vasilisa1 has also donated. So, again, thank you for uh, making those past donations and helping rank stuff up. Uh, my fellow parish mates there every little bit helps every little bit helps so let's see uh, let me get back in here as so I got to donate from by lane now anyway donate resources so we will flip to by lane Barthio says nothing yet so that doesn't help by lane we'll go three one two three oh essentially at this point it's going to be for the three main food types uh, let's see twelve thousand all right, 12,000 per village there, 21,000 per village there. Uh, to reach the max, of course, now I've already donated, so that cuts that number down quite a bit. So we only got 24,000 left there. We've got, what is this, 50 or 49,000 or 51,000 there. And of course, we shall donate 3,000 here. So now, as a matter of fact, let me check. How are we with popularity? Ooh, oh, 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 Barthios, obviously. Uh, but by lane, we've got some nasty weather here, too. Showers for a day and a half, so. That uh, does not help. And, of course, I don't want to bump up consumption too much. Uh, of course, I can't bump up consumption there. Because uh, I want to be able to recoup that food I am donating as much as possible. Um, so I am losing a bit of golden by lane. However, Balasar is making up for that. So we're otherwise good for that stuff anyway. All right, so we've got our quest all set up and ready to go. So let's pop into Barthios here. And of course, we've got the AI castle. We've got a castle not closed, obviously, and we have the showers. So first things first, uh, we need to build a stockpile here in our fishery. And I believe because the woods... The stoner up here, I usually throw the stockpile right about here. This is sort of right in between, and maybe a little bit more towards the stone side, I think. That's where we shall go with you. And this should give me. Boom! The initial stuff, and my first out of ten buildings that they need to build so next up of course we shall have need of 784 789 793 796 97 96 97 boom I should be able to plant right yep one right back there plant another one there all done? Let me see. Very good. Good job. Look at that. Awesome job eating. You're a mess, though. You're a mess. Clean yourself up a little bit. Okay, that's done. Uh, now we need wood, 18, 16, 12, 8, 8. We're down to 8, so it's going to have to be up here somewhere. Yeah, puppy's barking. I hear him. Looks like it's going to be 9, 18, so we will go boom. Do, 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 do. So we'll at least get them working. Boop. Okay, so we've got that working. What we need to do now is figure out where we're going to plant the granary and our foodstuffs. Because you know what? I have to research fishing, don't I? I'm going to have a fishery. I need to research fishing. So I think I will have to do that. Here. Fishing, fishing, fishing. So let's... Uh, Barthios. So snake, rat, and pig attacks that's pretty much here what we're doing here file save 
So I've got to research. Uh, so let's update my research thing here. So we are, where are we at? Farming. So pig breeding, boop. Fishing. So we're going to be a little bit off here. Uh, since we don't need to research fishing. Well, you know what? Maybe I should research fishing. Anyway, in global conflict. Alright, that takes care of fishing anyway. Okay. So we'll have to see. We'll have to see what I do there. I have to make decisions. But okay, so we'll get fishing. We'll have fishing available in 4 hours and 15 minutes. No big deal. At this point, um, what the big deal is, is where we're going to plant our granary here. Because when we eventually, uh, I figure I'll be researching honor goods, uh, I will need to have to place my spice docks as close to the keep as possible, which sort of lines up with this area here. So I think the granary we're going to throw down over here. I think that's generally where I have in some of my other fishing villages I have built on other worlds. Uh, okay. So what we need to do here is plant a granary and I think I'm going to plant the granary um, right here. Maybe right here. I don't want to get too close to there because I think that's going to start running into where I would put my spice docks. So, um, how close can I put it here? Because that's right at the edge of the map. So I also got to leave room at the edge of the map for myself. Now, of course, I could always throw it over here too. Actually, you know what? So I think I do have a village where I do have the grand view over on this side. So I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. I throw the, yeah, throw the grand view, you know what, right there. So that'll give me lots of room for the fisheries. And I can still plant the other stuff around it. And this will help with popularity too, because right now we have no foodstuffs, but as soon as this pops, we'll have apples at least. Boom, apples. Okay, so as you can see, that takes a lot of negativity away from us. So let's get more foodstuffs building here. First things first, let's plant our apple trees. 2678. 2720, 2753, looks like 2753 is going to be the winner, boom, alright so we'll do that, we still have two free peasants, now of course comes the key, where am I going to plant the rest of this stuff, well, that's the closest I can get there, can't even get it there. So basically that's the closest I can get it there. So that'll be the next next charge here. In ten seconds or so. Oh I can plant it there too. So we'll we'll see what uh, what the most beneficial placement is there. So 1914, 1923 Sounds like it's going to be the winner. Right there, 1923. Okay, so that'll take care of all our current peasants. Alright, in the meantime, let's do this. Take away some more negative popularity by building up our village. Or our castle, I should say, and closing the keep. So 
I'm throwing wood down uh, in the spots where I'm going to build my towers. Right now the important thing is is just to build the keep or enclose the keep um, to eliminate that negative popularity. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Wall, wall. Next one will go there. Next one will go there. And we shall have bump, bump, confirm. And we shall go one, two, three, four, five, and have our other wall right here. Boom. Now, of course, this isn't going to help when the siege camp launches its final attack against us. Um, it's obviously going to break through the defenses and everything else. Uh, but that I'm not too concerned about at the moment. Uh, we can double up on food at least right now. So we can uh, get rid of the rest of our negative popularity without having to go into negative taxes here. So we're good with that. So we've got meat a cooking, and we've got apples a cooking, but we have no more peasants. So what we need to build now be another hubble. Hubble, 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 hubble. Twelve. There is twelve. Twelve, twelve, twelve. You twelve there? Now close. So twelve. We will throw that down there. Let's see, so this will be building number seven. So of course we are running out of supplies. Uh, so we're gonna have to watch what we built here. We should be able to build um, our dairy farm with no problem. Yep, okay. And of course we should be able to build uh, more of these guys with no problem. But of course we have no workers for them yet. So what we need to do is this. So we've hopefully encouraged some workers to come quicker than 11 hours. Oh, well, of course, they're not going to be coming in quicker than 21 minutes, huh? So we might actually have to use a card here. That might come in handy. Uh, let's see what we have in terms of... Peasants uh, ch -ch -ch population here. So villagers. Okay, so we can. I do have. Okay, three cards where ten villagers arrive. So that does come in handy. That will come in handy once this is completed here, and I have twenty. So let's do that. Let's make this nice, quick, and easy. So we will play a card. Oh, uh, one of the rare occasions where I will play a card actually. So we will play this card and we will magically have 14 peasants. Excellent. Of course you can't see that window, but that's essentially what I did. Do, 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 do. So good. Now we have 14 peasants. Of course that's going to up consumption quite a bit. So we will bop that down to where it needs to be. We shall now plant our dairy farm. 3310, that sounds good. 3285, so 3310. So good, we will have that. Then all we have to do is wait for our research to finish and we can start planting our fishing jetties. That should be good enough. So we will, we've got a minute and a half for that to build and we can beef up some more of our resources here. Of course, we can always beef up our army uh, with peasants, but we shall wait on that. Not really necessary at the moment. Do, 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 do. So in the meantime, let's take a look at some of the all of these attacks here. So parish attacks a bandit camp. Let's take a look. We'll fast speed all these since we did see some bandit camp attacks. On global conflict, I just wanted to see sort of what the results were of these and the, the size of the camps. Just to take a look at those. See what size they're arguing. So they're they're arguing a fairly 
Now, I mean, small size, but uh, a, a somewhat built up small size. By no means uh, the largest, but also um, not the smallest and least defended as well. Okay. Excellent. Okay, there we go. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So we only got a couple of snake attacks and rat attacks. The pig was here for a while. Let's see, so... Oh! Snake stole some ale from us, did he? Some resources from Bayless, sorry about that rat. Or I mean snake. Thieving snake. Well, at least she's gone anyway. Abby down? Okay, Abby will be down. Get Abby down in a minute because we got to go pick up the boo in a few minutes. So we've got to. Okay, so we stopped the rat at least. So we'll have to be ending it in a few minutes here anyway. Burn, you peasants, burn. about five more minutes here before we'll have to call it a day for 100 days of gaming yes I know Abby will yes I know Abby wants down you're gonna have to wait because you're a mess I gotta clean you up Alright, so let's see here. So we saw that attack. So let us get back into Barthios here because that should be complete, right? Make sure our food is going well. Good food. Well, good. Excellent. Uh, let's plant uh, more of this here. So we got 739. And. 739. Sweet. So we'll throw you up there. Let you build for a couple of minutes. Go back to watch this rat attack. Boom. I heal one in here. What do we got? Okay, that'll be nine. So we got one more building after that. 
let's watch this again now. Another large size pillage, which we have stopped. And I think we'll review all the snake attacks, obviously, but I do want to clear those reports out. So we'll just see what the results are, see if there's anything interesting. Maybe like a ransack that we want to watch. I don't think I any... If there was a ransack, it wasn't successful, but... We'll watch at least one pig attack anyway. We'll just see what they all are first. You're a mess. I gotta change you. I can clean you up. You're a mess. Messy. Can you say messy? Messy Abby. Messy Abby. So obviously no problems with the rat here in town. Excellent. So let's take a look, see what we got here. So we defeated him there, Bailane. Defeated him Balasar. Defeated him Balasar. Defeated in by lane. So these are relatively small pig attacks, too. Only 30 troops by lane. There's are. So it looks like we won all these battles here. Yep. Let's see what they were. It's the pillage. Okay. Ah, here's a ransack. So fortunately, we stopped that. A two uh, two building ransack that was so good we stopped him before he even broke through the walls there so let's see what this was pillage let's see what this was another pillage another ransack so two ransacks he sent against us of course this one he's going to get in to start it anyway ah but we stopped him fortunately fortunately so that was two ransacks this was the ransack right yep yeah, okay Quick pillage there. Another ransack. So three ransacks. This pig's castle sent against us before it was destroyed. How aggravating that is. But at least we were able to stop from small attacks. At least uh, so. That makes me happy. pillage and another pillage okay so nothing we really need to review there because all the same size attacks just for pillages which we have stopped so excellent that is that let's get back into Barthios is that done that's done so we've got one more building to plant and that's going to have to be stone cutter because we're going to need stone uh, plenty here What's this? That is 688, and of course we have our 639 right there, 739 right there, so perfect. That will be enough to complete that quest and gather up all that material for Barthios. Oh, look at that. I don't have I don't have a scout in Barthios, but we have a scout here. So we'll go scout and see what that's all about. And we will call this episode done complete. Thank you everyone for watching. Um, again, just one dollar, just one dollar at a time. That's all it takes to make a difference in the child's life. Um, just one person saying, hey, I enjoyed watching this video today. 
I will donate a dollar to you, BJ Waller, aka Real Millennium Group. But eh, not not to me though. You're donating it to my hospital um, that I have chosen to support. So I thank you uh, for choosing to support me by supporting my hospital. And definitely the hospital thanks you, the children thank you again. Um, a dollar is all it takes. And uh, until next time, this is BJ Waller saying, I will see you in game. And that next time, bye. That's going to be tomorrow. 100 days of gaming. We still got 40 odd days yet to go before the main event. So thanks for watching, everyone. Huh? Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Bye bye. They can't see you waving, but they can hear you say bye bye. <laughs>